realized that we were still in a theme overarching series titled The Secrets to Service. And so we're continuing in this vein of understanding um, what it is or what it takes to serve. Yeah, um, we found there are some some keys that we talked about a couple of weeks ago, and then we even talked about being motivated by mercy. Um, but there are some times where where you don't you really don't have enough to keep going. And and while we know that God had mercy on us, uh, how did we make it through? How do we get out? How do we get to the other side? That's only by that's only by way of grace. That's only by way of grace. And What's so important is as we're serving and as we come in in contact with challenges, uh, we do have a model that we can look to. We do have uh, the perfect representation of what it looks like uh, to to, to conquer and to make it through and to serve despite of all of the challenges that we may encounter. And that person is Jesus Christ. He is that model. Oh, yes, he is. So let's look at Look at what the text tells us about him. It says here in Hebrews chapter four, verses 15 and 16, it says, for we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are. I want you to look at that for just a second, but was meaning that it did happen. This is past tense, right? but was at all points in every way that you can think of and every aspect that we can be tempted or tested as people. I want you to know that Jesus was also tempted or tested. That's what that word means yet without sin. And so what we discover is that uh, Jesus, Jesus overcame, Jesus overcame. Not only does he understand, which means that he does sympathize with our weaknesses, uh, but he also overcame. Brothers and sisters, I I want to I want to encourage you this morning, because uh, as you are going through uh, serving, whether it be on your job, whether it be serving in your ministry. Yesterday, many of you shared uh, the area that you serve in. And the truth is, there are going to be some times where um, you're going to feel as though it's not worth it's not worth continuing. It's not worth um, moving on and moving forward. But what we discover is that is that when you get to those points There is a superpower that we can tap into, and that superpower is called grace. Grace is the ability or uh, it's a supernatural ability. It's an empowerment that comes from God that that enables us to do things that we could not do before. And so what we discover is that Jesus Jesus actually warns us ahead of time and lets us know, hey, 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 I want you to know. And this is in John chapter 16, verse 33. He said, I want you to know that in this world, you're going to have some trouble. And I'm telling you all of this because uh, because I want you to I want you to remain. I want you to remain joyful. Say in this world, you're going to have trouble. You're going to deal with some difficult seasons. He never said that once you get saved, that everything was going to be peaches and cream. He didn't say that. He said, you're going to have some trouble. He said, but be of good cheer. He said, I've already, I've already overcome the world. That means that everything that we are challenged with, everything that we are tested by, the Bible says, and Jesus says, he said, I already overcame the world. This is why we can go to the throne of grace and obtain mercy when we need it the most. This is why we can go to him, because we know that he already overcame. And if he overcame, then he can give us the strength to overcome. I want to encourage you that you should not hesitate. When it comes to going to the throne of grace, you should not simply try to do this in your own strength or by your own might, but know that you have a savior that's been tested in the flesh. He's been tested or tempted uh, with the with the pride of life. 
He's been tested and tempted uh, when it comes um, to the lust of the uh, to the lust of the eye with money or, or treasures. He's been tested by by every one of those areas and he overcame. And so because of that, we can go to our high priest. We can go to Jesus and be able to receive grace at the very moment that we needed the most. I want to pray with you this morning because I believe that you're going to keep going. The fact that you're here this morning shows me that you have a desire to keep going. Perhaps uh, you didn't think that you were allowed to struggle. You didn't think that you were allowed to go through difficult seasons. Maybe you had a paradigm that told you that Christians don't go through. Well, I want you to know that that's not true. We just have grace. We receive power from Jesus to help us keep going. Let's pray today that we would go to the throne of grace, that we would reach within to the Lord, to, our, to the Lord Jesus that's been placed inside of us. And we would ask him, Lord, give me the grace to keep going. Father, we thank you today on this totally committed Tuesday. Father, we thank you for being faithful. We thank you for being awesome. Father, you have been wonderful in our lives. And God, we ask you to forgive us of our sin. Lord, there are things that we did and said that came short of your glory. And I thank you that you're faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. And for that, God, we tell you thank you. Lord, this morning, I pray on the behalf of my brother, my sister, that student that realizes that they don't have to struggle through this thing. They don't have to uh, 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 fight through this thing alone or even look at it without hope. But we have a savior that not only understands, but he also overcame. He overcame that issue in the mind. He overcame that issue in the heart. He overcame what the world threw at him. Father, we are so grateful that we serve an overcomer. And because he overcame, he's willing to help us to overcome. Hallelujah. He told us to be of good cheer. Thank you, Lord, that he's overcome the world. And as long as Christ is inside of us, we have the spirit of the overcomer on the inside of us. So, Lord, today we will reach within to the spirit of God. And, Lord, we ask for your help. Give us the grace to keep going. And, Lord, as we close out this prayer, we pray as your son taught us and we see our father who is in heaven. Holy is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Lord, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. Lord, I just want to take a moment and I want to pray, Father, for those that are in the path of the storm. I pray, God, for your mercy. I pray, God, for safety. I pray, Lord, that you would help people even move safely. Father, I pray for the storm system itself, and I pray that it would lose its intensity. I pray that, Father, that it would cause itself or that it will it will lose power, it'll lose velocity, and God, it'll begin to break down. And Father, I thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, God bless you. My name is Enrique Brooks, senior pastor of Thrive Church and host of the Prayer 365 podcast, where we're on a mission to transform lives through the lifestyle of prayer. I want you to take 60 seconds to reflect on today's devotional. What we've discovered, not only does Jesus understand, but Jesus overcame and we can go to him to find grace to keep going. God bless you.